here with Vander Blue, the uh, author of tonight's game-winning shot against the Canton Charge. Vander, you hit a not only a three-pointer, but you turn it into a four-point play. You take the contact with 2.5 seconds left in overtime against the Canton Charge. What, uh, what was going through your mind? How were you, how were you feeling as you were hitting that shot? Uh, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, I think the play before that, I went down and tried to get a foul, and it didn't work for me. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just wanted to take a deep breath and uh, relax a little bit. And yeah. Justin Harper set a great screen for me, and I knew that uh, I knew I had I knew I had him beat a little bit. So uh, I felt him on my hip a little bit. And I, I feel like the ref might give me that, so I raised up and just tried to focus on finishing the shot. And uh, through the grace of God, I went in. I'm just really thankful. Now, did you were, were you trying at all to draw some contact on that play too, or just go for, straight up for the shot? No, uh, I think I definitely tried to draw contact. I felt him right there, so I just want to make sure that I still gave myself a chance to to make it as if I was going to the rim and do a layup. I always try to get the ball up there, but I just wanted to make sure I followed through and uh, just give a little extra push and hopefully win it. Now, this is kind of become an old hat for you because you hit a game winner just a few, I think, two games ago, and we asked you then if you had ever hit a game winner before that. You said a, mil a million of them because you randomly hit a, a bunch of game winners. Uh, where does this rank among game winners because this is a pretty unique one a four-point play uh, it might be a, it might be at the top up there I know the one I had at NCAA was a big one mm -hmm. but I just like to see the emotion and, and the expression of my teammates yeah. uh, especially being down 22 to a great team like that they got guys like Quinn uh, K Felder coming down mm -hmm. just really making it hard for us all night and uh, for us to come out and win like that was great yeah. and then to get my little Conor McGregor little thing going it was it was just a lot of fun out there tonight okay so we got to talk about that because it was not just the Conor McGregor walk it was like 12 celebrations all in a row you had the the call me you had the the bow and arrow I think was in there uh, <laughs> I mean first of all how do you just come do you do you just have a log a diary of all these celebrations I mean honestly that last play I don't know what was going through me man <laughs> I've never done that McGregor I just yeah. I felt the vibes man I've been running with the bow and arrow yeah the, yeah. the call me I don't I don't know where it came from I was just having a lot of fun out there, there. was a Kobe in there? I said, call me. Oh, call me. Okay, call my me, bad. Call me. <laughs> so I just had a lot of fun out there. Yeah, it seemed like the whole team was having fun. Is it is it fun for you guys? To, I mean, it's obviously not fun to get down 22, but to work your way back, is that fun at all as you as competitors? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, we had a rough day today. We oh. had to um, go to Adam K's Center this morning. Yeah. So I think that might have had a little bit of something to do with how we started off kind of sluggish. But mm -hmm. once we shift the energy, man, try to focus on the game and mm -hmm. get back to doing what we like to do, we start becoming a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, Adam Cave has, of course, been like a, a very uh, special part of the family. And with his passing, it seems like every time there's there's something, you know, after he passed, you guys ended up winning the next game and the one after that, and then you win the, the, the day of his funeral. I mean, does that kind of just speak to you? You're a spiritual, spiritual person. Does that kind of speak to you and, and just how much he meant? Definitely. Uh, he was definitely there with us tonight. Uh, it, was, it was definitely magical have his brother, his family right there to witness all that. Mm -hmm. Just amazing, man. Uh, he's a great, great kid, a great brother that we lost. And uh, we're just going to try our best to keep trying to do right by him. Did, uh, did they say anything to you that uh, about this game? Or after? Uh, no, we, we talked a little bit uh, at, the, at the funeral, but I didn't get a chance to see him after the game. I know they're pretty proud of us. Mm -hmm. one, one more thing for you, Vander, just to shift back to the to the court. Ivica Zubac had a nice game, 20 points, 10 rebounds, uh, became just the 10th player in uh, NBA D-League and NBA history to play in both leagues in the same game. What did you think of the way he came out? Uh, unbelievable. Uh, it has to be a whirlwind for him, mm -hmm. driving from Staples Center back here to play with us, playing games at Staples, practicing with us, going back there. He's, just, he's showing unbelievable character and professionalism. Uh, ceiling's uh, still the roof for him, man. I respect his game, respect his hustle, man, and he's going to be a really great player. All right, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Congrats on the win. Thank you.